Hey guys, today I'm back with another Rage review and I'm going to be doing the Sephora Smart Liner. So basically it's just another eyeliner which is um, made to be ergonomic as you can see here, the design. It's made so that you can hold it with your left or right hand and those are the wrong hands, who cares. Once you open it it just looks like this, so like any standard eyeliner, you would apply it the same way. So you would just do this as you would and carry on. So I got this while I was in California and I went to the Grove and I went to Sephora and I saw this on for about $14 I think. It might have been more, might have been less, I can't remember for God's sakes, it was three weeks ago. And so I saw it and I thought what a weird design for an eyeliner. And then I saw how you could actually hold it and I thought, well, that'd be really useful because I'm that type of person who when I find my eyeliner, I shake everywhere and it's like really hard to control or the end is really too thick and that, as you can see, it's just okay. I swatched it on my hand and it did a very nice fine line depending on how hard you press. It's not the same when you put it on your actual eyelid. It is a lot, it's like a lot stronger than when you put it on your hand because on your hand there's not really any creases like your eye where if you make a mistake you have to keep going over it and that's what I had to do with it. Just around the corner here there's like a little crease as with everyone if you're normal and human I had to use this and I had to keep going back over it and over it and over it. Sometimes it doesn't apply within the entire first go. It still leaves a little bit of a gap and you have to go back in there and carry on again and it might end up being thicker than you intended to do it. So as you can see here I'm just applying the eyeliner across my eyeline, waterline, whatever it's called. I have no clue. Eyeline I suppose. And I'm making it look a bit Cleopatra-ish. So I'm just beginning to do the flick and I realised I f***ed up. And so I attempt to fix it by drawing one massive thick line. I have no idea why the f*** I did that. And yeah, that's basically how I f***ed it up. Yep. So that's my issue with this. It is a really good eyeliner for control. I wouldn't really recommend it if you're not good with eyeliner to begin with. You know, it's not exactly that easy to use. It does get, um, take a bit of getting used to. It is easier in the sense that you can hold it a lot easier. And, you know, you can't jog as much, I suppose. You can go as thick or as thin as you like, actually. That's the good thing about this. It doesn't just come out one big chocker block of eyeliner. You can actually go quite thin, depending on how soft you do it. So these are like how you can do it, you can either go really thick or you can go really thin. So it's actually not a bad eyeliner. I like it. I approve. There's so many things in my garden that keep moving and I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> Joking aside, I would recommend this because it is quite a nice little thing. It's really small. It's, well, it's slightly bigger than your average eyeliner. Your average eyeliner would probably be, well, depending on, well, depending on what brand as well. I use Kiko and it would, my average eyeliner would be this big and this is, you know, designed to help you and it fits anywhere. Uh, you don't risk any damage to it because it's properly covered in this clippy thingy. There. I think it might last you quite a while if you're that type who doesn't use eyeliner as much as I do, so I will only use it if I'm going out with friends. I go to college three days a week. I don't see the point in wearing makeup to go to college. For me, I have no one to impress in college. No offense to anyone in college. No. Just no. No. So that's my little quick say on this. I really love this lipstick. Peace. 